so track eight, targeting optimal landing depth. Uh, we're going back to the cardium for this case study. This is one pinpoint completed oil well. In this case, this was a great story. The operator had this awesome looking petrophysical log um, and there was other operators in the area that were making good wells. But they had some wells that were underperformers and they couldn't understand why. The geology was very favorable. The landing depth that they chose was, as most people choose, you target good porosity, right? I mean, uh, you, you go for the best looking porosity and the best rock. Well, that's, that's good, but uh, the frac modeling that we performed, uh, again post-mortem, indicated there was a significant propent settling below the well, that the frac was going down, uh, and that the well was only partially connected with the targeted pay interval. So we weren't connecting the, the entire targeted pay, pay interval. And our recommendation was, was made to lower the landing depth to the bottom third of the interval. So this is what the log looked like. It was really, really good. 12 and a half meters of pay using an 8% porosity cutoff and other cutoffs. Um, it, was, it was good looking geology. The frac modeling results were showing, now in this case it was uh, just, I put the, how the, how the jaw was conducted. It's a slick water, 30, 50 sand. We're seeing that the slick wasn't able to carry this stuff up very well. We're seeing that the sand dropped. And not only did it drop, but we're seeing that the fracture from the results showed a very poor connection. After we're more than a couple meters down, there's a bit of a, a gap, as you can see there in the illustration in the bottom image. And then the conductivity or the, the sand concentration, in this case, uh, kind of gets big again. So we don't really know what to use for uh, H now in our models, but we know 12 and a half is, it doesn't make sense. And we can confirm that by using 12 and a half meters and coming up with, like I said, nano Darcy permeability in the cardium. So, so there was a lot of inconsistencies there. But if we see this net pay as two meters or six meters, somewhere in there, we're seeing a really good result where everything is more consistent. Um, this is an image of a numerical model of performing that match using oil rate to match on gas, water, and pressure, like we did last time. And in this particular example, we tried to give them as much net pay as we possibly could. We gave them the six meters and just said, okay, well, maybe that disconnection isn't, isn't that bad, and maybe we can get at least six meters on this well. Well, to match the data, we're going to come out with permeabilities of 65 microdarcies near the frac and a matrix perm of about 10 microdarcies absolute perm away. Is that reasonable? Well, that's maybe not. Maybe that's even still a little too tight, but maybe the, the net pays even lower than six meters. But this is, this is the exercise and the iterations that we do. We would say this is the most oil in place we could assign to this well. 